Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be reacting to Tottenham Hotspur's 3-1 defeat at the Emirates in the North London Derby in the Premier League as Partey, Jesus, and Jacka scored to give the Gunners all three points in a vital North London Derby at the start of the 2022-2023 Premier League season, which say sees Arsenal go up to 21 points, four points above. Tottenham Hotspur. Let's start with some important events of the match, starting with the first half. In the 20th minute, Arsenal get on running with a goal from Thomas Partey. Arsenal hang out on the edge of Spurs' box. It starts with Saka, who passes to White. White spots Partey, and Partey fires an amazing shot into the right top corner, and Lloris has no chance of getting to it. Then, in the 31st minute, Spurs have an equalizer Equalizer almost only 10 minutes late from a penalty from Harry Kane. Kane, who did miss his last penalty from Spurs, but he did score one over the international break for England, which gave him some confidence to score this one, and he just places it right down the middle to give Tottenham the equalizer, and it ends in halftime as one off. Then in the second half, just four minutes after the players are back out onto the pitch, Gabriel Jesus gives Arsenal the lead again. Saka curls a shot into the uh, towards goal on the, from the right side. Lloris is able to push it away. Romero, uh, being too close to the goalkeeper, gets an unwilling touch on the ball, which just sends it under Hugo Lloris. And Jesus is hovering and pounces on the loose ball to give Arsenal the lead. Then, in the 62nd minute, after a couple of, about 15 minutes of maybe some promise from Tottenham Hotspur, Emerson Royale is sent off the pitch with a direct red card. Uh, Tottenham have trapped Arsenal in the corner. Two Arsenal players on in Arsenal's defensive third. We've got three players, Kane, Son, and Emerson, closing them down. And for some stupid reason... Emerson decides to stick a leg in on Martinelli right on the ankle who goes down and probably stays down for about three four minutes um, Anthony Taylor takes about five seconds and then shows him a straight red Spurs go down to 10 and really that's where the match ended for Tottenham then in the 67th make it minute just to put some salt on the wound Granite Xhaka scored for Arsenal it was sloppy defending from Spurs being one man down um, Partey drags Arsenal uh, into Tottenham's attacking third. Martinelli touches it onto Xhaka, who has lots of space ahead of him, and just touches it under Loris and into the back of the net. And that's how the game finished. 3-1 to Arsenal. For Tottenham, who's your man of the match? My man of the match, I think I'm going to go with a tie between Harry Kane and Richarlison. I'm going with Harry Kane easily. He's the only one that scored the goal for us. He stayed on the full 90 minutes, really couldn't do anything else. I have else, to say but... Richarlison was also really good as well. Son was not too bad either. Uh, I was really surprised that we brought Son and Richarlison off at the same time. Um, I think that was not a good decision by Conte to bring both of them off at the same time. You could tell that, well, Conte, once he brought them off, you could tell that he, we were just, we are done. He, he didn't want to try anymore. We were just saving our big players. Like, watch, Son, Perisic, Richarlison, Longley. We're saving all of them, just making sure they're not getting injured. And then Hoybier came off about four minutes later. So it was clearly just a, yeah, we've lost here, accept it, get them off and move on kind of game. Um, but yeah, just a very, the first half was good. Yeah, first half was really good. But in the second half, I'm really happy that Oliver Skip finally oh, yeah. has got to play in a game since like, January or something like that of 2022. It's, it's the been like eight months. It's the worst game to come back in on, but still, it's a, a big moment for him who got a very big injury at a very young age. First half was decent, I thought. Of course, Arsenal took the lead. It was a stunner from Thomas Partey, but then we were able to hit back. We started attacking. We were holding them out. We were attacking. Um, we started to slowly spread out of the box, so we, we weren't playing too badly. And for uh, half time came second half with Jesus's goal. I think it's just unluckiness. Yeah. I mean, Loris did should yeah, have it was gotten a by he should have gotten the pass back from Romero. 
Yeah. He should have collected after that. After that, like the first save was understandable. That yeah. No, that there's no way he's yeah. catching that. He, um, he's outstretched. So. Um. But the follow up, he should he shouldn't have fumbled that. Yeah. But, he should um, be getting that. Yeah. Uh, in the first half, our midfield was great. Benton Kerr and Hoybia looked great in the first half. But as the first half went on and on, they just started to decline. And then, well, also, we started bypassing our midfield a little bit. But even in the first half, they were ho- excellent. They got better as we started to play out from the back. Because at the start, we were just holding our position, which meant our midfielders were just defending. But as we got closer, more and more into the first half, you could see that we were trying to open up. Midfielders were sliding balls through, and that's exactly what we needed. And even after sc- Arsenal scored the second goal, right before Emerson got sent off, we were playing we were, well. We were playing pretty well. We looked like we were going to get an equalizer. And then, of course, Emerson Royale goes and does a boneheaded tackle. I'm glad we don't have to see him for three, Still about that, three games. But I didn't think that was a red card. It's at never first. a red it's card. It's definitely a yellow, but it's a yellow. I don't it's think never, that's a red it's card. It's never a red, but it's deserved. It's easily deserved for him, and I'm glad he got it because we don't have to see him for the next three games. Yeah. Which is fine by We'd me. We'd love to see Doherty. We'll see Doherty. I think we'll see Spence because we have... Spence is just... Just try him out. He hasn't even gotten a chance under yeah. Conte yet. Just put him on once and let's see how he does. We could have brought him on when he was 6-2 up against Leicester. But we didn't. But we didn't. We were up 6-2 and we didn't even take the chance to just try him out. We've got a four-goal... Gap. So that red card really just did us over. And after that, we were just content on setting back. We conceded again to Xhaka in the 67th minute, as we already told you. And then we made the four substitutions with a wing back, a midfielder, a left back, and a defender coming on for a defender, an attacking wing back, and two attackers. That shows you how our mentality completely changed with that. Um, change in formation and the change in personnel. So another thing, Ben Anker was also really good today, especially in the first, in the half. first half. And then in the second in half, the he second couldn't half, do anything. No, he couldn't. And especially, I think when Hoybier went off, Azuma came on. The partnership was ruined. Yeah, Hoybier, I mean Ben Anker just couldn't do anything. Yeah. Um, and then, like we lost everything at that red card. I think we yeah, just fell apart. That was apart. a huge turning point in the game. Yeah. Our midfielders were linking well. Perisic wasn't doing too bad. Son and Richarlison looked ready to run. And then the red card just ruined us. And that really was just the end of the game for us. Which was a shame because we actually had a chance today. Again, I think Romero did not have a great performance again today. He had a good first half. But the second just half... Just the mistake starting, for, the, yeah. for the, the, the second goal. Yeah, I think that, he, that's an error. He should just let, let Loris get it. Honestly, but the, the reaction time. How, like, it's so yeah. hot. He was, he would look like he was going to take his leg away. Because if he left his leg there, it would have just rebounded into the goal. True. So he did start to take a leg away, just not quick enough. Which, is it just on human reaction time? Or is it actually an error from him? Also, Loris didn't get down quickly enough. But it's, that's kind of understandable. Although, it's going right through his glove. So really, he should be catching Long him. Longley and, um. Longley was good. Longley and Dyer were both. Yeah. Pretty good today. Yeah, they were. Of course, like our whole team drifted off in the, um, like second half of the second half. Yeah. But um, not counting that, they were brilliant. I think this is the end of Emerson Royale's trust by Conte, because after he made that tackle, Conte was furious. If you saw his face after Con- uh, Emerson made that tackle, Conte was not having it. He was absolutely losing it. And I have a feeling this is when he's going to start trying out, you know, Sessegnon on that right side again, or Spence, or Doherty, or whoever on that right side instead of Emerson Royale. We know, because we know, we know Doherty loves Conte, and he praises him all the time, and other way around as well. Conte yeah. loves Doherty. He had an amazing run last season before he got that knee injury. It's going to either be Doherty or Sessegnon on that right side, because yeah. Spence is still going to take some time to get in. But that's it for our instant reactions. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoy our content. Comment down below what your reactions to the game were. And until next time. Come on, you Spurs!